Dear viewers, in this video, we will understand about another graphical representation in Minitab, which helps us to graphically analyze relationship between one continuous output variables and two continuous input or process variable. So the name of the chart that we are going to analyze today is contour plots. So contour plot is used to, to examine the relationship between a response variable, which will be in Z axis and what would be the impact of two input or process variables which will be in your x and y axis. So let's understand how does this graphical representation works. As I told, we are going to understand contour plots. So I'm going to click on graph. Before I do that, maybe I'll quickly explain you the data that I have. So I have a process where I am trying to create a uh, plates of steel so the thickness of steel plates is my output parameter and this thickness of steel plate is impacted by film density and tensile strength so depending upon the film density and depending upon the tensile strength when i use a particular input with certain film density and certain tensile strength i get certain level of thickness so this is this is the process for which we are going to draw contour plots so I'm going to click on graph and once I click on graph, I have my contour plot option here. I'm going to click on contour plots. So in a contour plot, you, you need to select three uh, variables basically. So the Z variable will be your output uh, metric or output parameter. So here thickness is my output parameter, thickness of my film plate or metal plate. And my Y variable, one of my input or process variable is film density. Another input or process variable is my tensile strength. So I select these two options and now if I click on OK, I get a contour plot and the contour plot looks like this. So how do we interpret this contour plot? So for us to interpret this contour plot, maybe we can select this particular option here. When we select this option, it gives us to move around this graph and understand how does it work. So here in my Y axis, I have film density and in my X axis, I have tensile strength. And the color of this particular graph tells me the thickness. So here you see an index where depending upon what color of green, how much thickness in millimeters can be achieved. So if I select this option and move my mouse pointer here, you'll be able to see two lines. So the reason why I am selecting this is within my output parameter. So there are certain areas where I get a very high thickness. For example, if you see here, the spot here, is where I get the highest of thickness. So if I want to achieve this thickness, that means greater than 2.4 mm, I need to maintain my tensile strength and film density. So if you see here in the top corner, you will find the value of X and Y moving as I move my mouse pointer. And this movement of mouse pointer can be taken to whichever place inside this contour plot to identify the value of your film density and tensile strength or in other words, your Y variable and your X variable. And if you see here, I am moving my mouse pointer to find out. For example, within my interaction between my tensile strength and film density, still I'll be able to get a spot here, which gives me a better uh, thickness of my uh, response parameter compared to maybe somewhere here, the thickness changes, but this is a spot, a good spot. Maybe this is where I can optimize my film density and tensile strength and still achieve a better result. Similarly, this is a spot where a value here tells me if I maintain my tensile strength and my film density in this spot, I'll still be able to get a better thickness. Whereas this is a weak spot. If my film density or tensile strength moves to this region, then the interaction tells me that my thickness drops or my thickness reduces. Right. So this is how we will understand a contour plot to make it easy for us to understand. Maybe I can give you one more example. So here I have another data where I have uh, the mass that is a biomass and the depth and cover. So depth and cover are my two parameters. And how do I get my biomass? Biomass being higher, the better. And depth and cover are my two input or process variables. So in this example, I am clicking on graph again. I click on contour plots and here I select biomass as my output parameter or my response parameter and my input parameter will be depth and the next input parameter will be cover. 
so this is on a different subject area where we are drawing the contour plots again so now if you see this this is another very good example if you see here i wanted to get a higher biomass so again i select this particular x y lines so that i would be able to understand this better so if you see here a very dark blue color indicates biomass being very very low and as it gets green dark green i am get a very high biomass and if you see here again i can see a sweet spot here where i will be able to get a much better output uh, response and i can freeze this as my input variables and i can start my process if i move out from this range how does my output parameter changes and what are the different areas at which what level of a response parameter values i will be able to get if i maintain my input values at this um, given point uh, i maintain my input variable like cover and depth so friends i hope this video was helpful for us for you to understand as i told in the beginning i also uploaded a video on main effects and interaction effect so that main effect and interaction effect plots are basically designed to understand the interaction effect between two discrete or categorical variables on a continuous output variable so my output variable my y parameter is a continuous output variable and my input variables are discrete categorical variables and that's where we have seen in our previous video whereas in this video we understood how my output variable that is my response parameter being a continuous variable and my input or process parameters are also continuous variables and then we use uh, contour plots as a graphical representation in my upcoming videos i'll also explain about some of the other graphs that we have in this particular category for example we have a 3d scatter plot and we also have a 3d surface plot these are also two other graphical representation which helps us to understand relationship between two input variables which are in continuous variables and my output variable is also a continuous variable so we will see how those uh, graphs can also be used in our upcoming videos i hope this video was useful uh, for more videos about uh, minitab tutorials how to use tools techniques and graphical representations available in minitab uh, kindly subscribe our channel i hope this video was useful thank you very much